<laughs> good morning, good morning. It's Allison. It's Friday, January 15th. So it's like halfway, two weeks into January. What have you done? So, um, I'm Allison. If you don't know me, I help people stay accountable to their health and fitness goals, and then I help other people uh, do the same. So, I was thinking today about, you know, how to renew your motivation because a lot of people, you know, they go all gung-ho, um, sorry, I didn't shower yet, um, all gung-ho, um, when you start out January, it's really easy to be really excited, you might have, you know, joined a new gym, gotten a new program, gotten some new workout gear, um, you did something to change it up for the beginning of the year so that you would have, and that gave you a little motivation boost. Um, you may have um, found a workout buddy and the two of you may have realized that your schedules didn't really mesh as well as you'd hoped or maybe something changed at the gym and your schedule is different or maybe something changed with your schedule or you're having a crazy month at work. So how are you going to renew that motivation and keep it going? You are going to get support. This is what you do. You find groups to join, groups that are going to, and I'm talking mostly Facebook groups, but you can also do email groups, friend groups, just texting a friend. You need someone to be accountable with. People who are accountable to someone or a group are more successful in their health and fitness goals because when they think, hmm, maybe not today, maybe I don't want to do this today, maybe I'm going to skip my workout, maybe I'm going to have this cupcake, you have other people that are like, eh, why don't you keep doing your workout? Hey, why don't you skip that cupcake? Why don't you, um, you know, have your lunch you packed anyway? Um, why don't you uh, come and hang out with me and work out with me? I'll text you when I'm done. It doesn't have to be someone that's close by. It doesn't have to be someone that's you know on the same schedule as you even because you can do it anywhere the technology today is everywhere you don't need to be close to someone physically to do anything so that's what i want you to do when your motivation is kind of faltering find a friend find a group i run accountability groups on facebook for people that are working out at home and trying to um, eat healthy at home um, so these groups don't only aren't only me helping others they're helping me a lot of people say how are you consistent all the time and I'm like oh I kind of have a lot of people to be accountable to and it really truly helps me stay with it and keep going and so that is one of my biggest tips when your motivation is faltering if you're thinking you can't get in a workout you're wrong you can, I do, I don't speak Russian, um, and if you, but if you go to these groups, they are there to help you, they're going to push you a little, because no matter how you're feeling, someone in there is going to feel positive, and positive that you can do it. So, if no one told you yet today, you can stick to your goals today. You can, I don't care that it's Friday, you can stick to your goals, you can get your workout in, you can drink your water, and you can eat to your plan, whatever that may be for the day. All right, so I am gonna go now. I hope you have a great day. If you want to see more, it, I'm at facebook.com slash Allison Getting Fit page. I'd love to see you there. Bye, have a great Friday.